this might be a tough decision right now. My team well, did just absolutely um, And it felt games that were like, right. whoa. I actually don't have a lot of mixed feelings. Uh, welcome to Scrum Tone. Uh, we have another guest here on the League of the Wings. The League of the Wings. The League of the Wings. Hey, hey, League of the Wings fan base, or the disgruntled fan base. Is this on autofocus? Or the PG fan base. Or the PG fan base, honestly. If you just came here for the PG, um, then I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be ashamed, or I wouldn't be shocked, because he has more followers than I do. Yeah, 101, bitch. We went up four subscribers. Let's go. You at 101 now? 101. Yes, Let's sir. go. Hey, yo. It right. feels good. To hit the three digit mark. <laughs> <laughs> so, you've been posting more. How's that? Uh, I mean, I've been posting not a lot more. I started for like one week. I had like three videos out <laughs> in three days, but then it just kind of went downhill. So. Yeah. Um, I mean, I definitely have some more content coming. I just got the Oculus Quest, so I'm trying to make some VR content. But mm -hmm. You think I you're going to live stream it? Maybe. I might try that. That would be fun, but I feel like just making the YouTube content would just be, like, I don't know. I feel like it'd be easy, more easily digested that way. Yeah, that makes sense. I feel like you can make it more entertaining yeah. with it. But this is not what this podcast is about. What is this podcast about? It's about how our music tastes are and how they have evolved over time. Yes. Quick funny story about this. Um, Caleb came to me on Monday or Tuesday and he was like, yo, do you want to be in the podcast? And I'm like, yeah, sure. Um, but we didn't really have an idea. So he asked me if I could come up with any ideas. And I was driving to the gym today. I'm like, yo here are two ideas and then he's like oh my god that's the same idea that i had so that's what we're doing now as you sent that i was really typing and like i was about to send like i was about to click send it, it was like do you want to like oh do music god. and that that's was perfect. like so crazy yeah but yeah because i was thinking because the last couple of years you've had a lot of spotify minutes i'm like you're getting i'm gonna you know, like raise this real quick oh you're good there you go yeah i'd like 95,000 or like a couple years ago total minutes and I don't I forget what you ha said that your minutes was last year but Ooh. like that's an insane amount yeah last year was a lot more like not 2021 but 2020 was a lot I think it was like 113 damn and then last year it almost like went down in half just because I would like it was just easier for me to turn on YouTube and just listen to it that way and then also like being with Steven, like I would, he would play music and stuff like that. No, it was a lot, but yeah. Um, what was yours last year? I think mine was only fifty four, fifty five thousand, and yeah. that's also with ja Janet being on uh, the, on my Spotify account. On so Spotify too. So yeah, that's two people like what? worth. So like mine's really really low. Yeah. But before Janet, it was probably like. 30 35,000 really? yeah okay so it wasn't quite as high as 50,000 but it, I feel like I I listen to more music than her so it, most of that is coming from me but still okay. that's not all mine yeah but I guess since you listen to so much music too how has your kind of music taste evolved over the past few years okay mm -hmm. so good first question um before when I started walking down here I was going through some of my old playlists. I don't have like the older stuff because I did have like another Spotify, mm -hmm. um, but that one I don't have access to anymore. But this one called Chillin' Music, not my oldest one, but one of my older ones, I was looking back on it and I see like a lot of Imagine Dragons, like early album, a lot of Coldplay, um, just kind of like alternative stuff, but also some EDM, like Duck Sauce. You got that Barbara <laughs> Streisand song, if you know that. I um, think I do. It sounds familiar. Yeah. Barbara Streisand. Ooh, 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 <laughs> oh, I do ooh, that. Ooh, yes, <laughs> dude. Um, 21 Pilots. I don't know. Just kind of like alternative type stuff, but chill stuff. Um, and one thing that I did want to talk about on here is over time, rap started coming into my music a lot more. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about that today. And that's what gave me the idea is... Like, my music taste was 
are like very original like it was my own for a while growing up like i listened to michael jackson like jackson five imagine dragons Coldplay, like that was all my own stuff but then like the people that i surrounded with they listened to like a lot of rap and i just wanted to kind of like fit into that so i started listening to some more rap um and so that took over a little bit in my later stuff but i don't know it's just been back and forth rap pop i've always been like a big like i love pop i just mm-hmm. love like pop hits for some reason i'm just like a sucker mm-hmm. for that but lately it's been more of an edm phase oh, okay um yeah because you just went to that one concert with uh josh a f- yes. few weeks ago how was that Madion? yeah oh my god it was like you can't even like put it into words like the the feeling that i got at that concert like we were just so up close to like everything going on it was a little bit overwhelming with like the lights and how loud it was but just like i don't know to set like the vibe when josh and i walked up to the line some random guy was standing there by himself (laughs) and we just started talking to him and then he tagged along with us the entire time and we just like went crazy to all the songs Like you didn't even need to know all the songs just because Mm -hmm. like madion the way that he makes music it's just it's just feel good whether you like know the music or not and it Mm -hmm. was just the energy there was insane so that kind of kicked me back into my edm phase and i'm like i need to go Mm -hmm. do more things like this Mm -hmm. that's so awesome you got i remember you guys coming home and you guys were like so psyched i'm like damn i wish i could have gone with that too and two, also, I wanted to keep the streak alive because up until that point, I went to, like we, I yeah. went to all of your concerts mm-hmm. that you, but your first and second and fourth concerts. So I've been three out of the four concerts that you've been to. I've been like with you. Yeah. I was like, fuck. Like, what was your favorite out of the ones that we've gone to together? Don't remember Oliver Tree. <laughs> Don't remember Oliver Tree. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of a new. That was a new. Yeah. Um. I have mine, what? but I don't know about you. So it was the Black Bear Maroon 5. Surfaces. On surface. It was probably... It was probably Surfaces. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so Maroon 5, first concert. It was, like, it was cool. We were farther further away from the venue. Mm. And so it was just more chill. Like, we are just sitting down, like, on the grass. And, like, I don't know. I love Maroon mm. 5, so I was out there like, mm. ah, like, <laughs> oh, my God. Black Bear was a disappointment, to be honest. Mm. Um, but Surfaces, like, I think it's just the Fillmore. The Fillmore, yeah. when you have, like, a good artist, it's just, it hits different. Like, Surfaces was so cool. Um, they had confetti flying at the mm-hmm. end. That was dope. And I remember the whole concert because we didn't get too fucked up for that, which was nice. Yeah. And I feel like with the Fillmore, you're, like, closer to the actual artist. So, like, and I feel like where the type of music that we listen to, it's kind of it's like big artists but it's like small enough where it's not like a maroon five concert yeah. where like you need like a or tyler the creator concert where you need an entire stadium, a whole stadium or like yeah. a whole ass venue and it's like it's big enough where a lot of people go like it's it was packed out at the yeah. Fillmore and the oliver tree one that we went to yeah and it's had like a really good vibe but then you could also see the like, artists yeah like you were up close with them yeah the only reason why i say the surface is too because I, I like Maroon 5, but I don't listen to them too, too much. And I yeah. I really wanted to go because of Black Bear. And I re- side note, I really like going. Like, it was a fun, like, double date. With, yeah. Yeah, me, True. Janet, and I, and you and Steven. That was, I really like that aspect, too. Which is why I really like the Maroon 5 concert. Mm-hmm. But it was just Black Bear because, like, you couldn't fucking see him. Like No. It, Wasn't he wearing a hood? Yeah. He was wearing a, he was wearing a hood, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It like, could be just like a fucking a random maybe ass it wasn't dude. Him. Like, yeah. What? I to this day I still don't think that was him. Yeah. Like true. The thing about that concert is because it was like the double date and it was like my first concert. I don't like ranking it low, but just like the other, mm-hmm. like Madion and Surfaces were just like a different level. Yeah. So it's hard not to do that. But mm-hmm. Maroon Five was really cool. Yeah. Um. But going, big, quick segue back, jumping back. Reverse thing. Reverse, um, reverse. I had Pandora for like high school for like uh, freshman Pandora and music, yeah. yeah, freshman. It was like the free ass version freshman and sophomore year. So I didn't fucking like saved any other playlist, but I would like it. And I'm pretty sure like if you like something in Pandora, yeah. like it keeps it or just like a route, like a kind of, I don't, I don't even know how to explain it, but 
I able to, I was able to transfer some of the music that I liked into like my spot my first ever Spotify playlist. Intro by the yeah. XX, dude. I love that. That's such a chill song. Yeah. Sorry for interrupting. You. It's all good. But like my first ever song I put in there was Dirty Paws by of Monsters and Men. And then like for a while that's kind of like the vibe, like intro, Way Down We Go by like Ka Ka I Kyla. Love that song. Uh Renegades, Ophelia. So it's like kind of just like how what do you even explain? That kind of music. Alternative. Yeah, for alter sure. yeah. yeah. And then like fucking Stranger Things. What the hell? <laughs> I don't know that one. Oh, just like the theme? <laughs> <laughs> like literally just a theme. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's cool. But then like it, I kept that like relative like um, kind of just like alternative. And then I just like got it got messed up with like because I started to listen to like rap and stuff. Mm hmm before I started to create another playlist. I don't create playlists that often on play or on Spotify, but I was just starting to listen to rap. So like the second half of it is just rap. Yeah. Um, yeah. But like, I feel like I'm all over the place because I feel like I still have songs or I still, I'm a big fan of like alternative rock, rock in which is kind of like the first music that I've started to listen to. And I the some of the songs that I used to listen to way back when are kind of like a little bit cringy now or I'm like how did I yeah. like this but yeah. like most of the songs that I liked like freshman year sophomore year of high school I still love today and I but I've definitely got into more rap and kind of like hip-hop too like with Mac Miller and stuff okay um that happened like junior year no senior year of high school with Mac Miller so that kind of just flipped me to listening to more rap and hip-hop and stuff like Kendrick Lamar and like other artists like that so I feel like we kind of had like the same the same like, like rap yeah and it's funny because like three of the songs that were like in your first like six songs mm -hmm. on that playlist that you pulled up like I know and I'm pretty sure are on my playlist which is a little bit weird that's crazy so you have peachy hits 1.0 2.0 and 3.0 and 3.0 so explain to the audience kind of what peachy hits is all about so peachy hits 1.0 let me pull it up real quick i have it right here <coughs> peachy hits 1.0 i made i don't even know if i have the dates here yeah i don't know if it'll show me when i added it unless i'm on my computer but i made it a little while back and no, I can't see it. That sucks. But it's 50 hours and 42 minutes. I don't even know where the song count is. It's at the bottom. P PG Hits 1.0 started with, after my first two playlists that I made called New Music and Chillin' Music, I'm like, I just want to make something that is kind of like unique to me that I can just be like, yo, PG Hits. <coughs> and so that's how it started. The first song is I'm Sorry by Swell, which is like a lo-fi mm -hmm. type song. And then it goes straight into the chain smokers on the <laughs> weekend. Um, but no, I just started it because I just wanted to compile like all the music that I loved and anything that I liked or sort of liked, I would just add to the playlist. And so once I started getting longer, I would just shuffle play through that playlist. That's literally like what I do every time I listen to music is I just shuffle play either PG it's 1.0 or 2.0. Mm -hmm. And so eventually once I added so many songs, I would click shuffle and it, it ended up being more songs that I was tired of and mm. like I just didn't like anymore. So I'm like, I'm just going to make PG Hits 2.0. Mm -hmm. And so that's how that started. And I've gone through that. And so I did make a 3.0, but there's only like 13 songs on it because I want to go through 1.0 and 2.0 and add all the songs that I still like mm -hmm. into 3.0 and then continue adding from there. Just because when I click shuffle, like I'm always listening to music and so 3.0 just isn't sufficient because it only has 13 songs yeah. and that is going to end in like like 45 minutes to an hour so yeah. it's just it's it's not like built up but mm -hmm. I have thought about like dividing them into separate genres and just like listening based on that but it's nice to just hit shuffle and like skip through to what I want to hear you know yeah I feel like it's also nice to like kind of shifting through genres too if they're kind of the general same vibe like as long as it's not going from like rap to like country but oh yeah i don't yeah. even listen to country yeah. but like i definitely do have moments like that where adele will come on and then the next song will be like denzel curry <laughs> which is like he's like a hardcore <laughs> yeah. like rapper like josiah who's like mm. oh the beginning of the song that they have together is like the song makes you want to stomp a newborn baby or something <laughs> like that. Like it literally is all over the place, but I love it because mm -hmm. I mean, that's literally, 
that's literally me like all over the place but yeah i love those types of playlists though he was your favorite artist when you really got into like sorry to listen to music comparatively to your favorite artist now okay so the first three that pop into my mind is coldplay one two like i used to listen to so much coldplay it, mm. it was insane two imagine dragons i love their first album and i still like love their second album their newer stuff is just okay but like their older stuff is so good and then oddly enough skrillex like really? he just like damn. pops into my mind i'm like damn i used to listen to a lot of skrillex mm -hmm. i just remember finding him on youtube one day and then i just like listened to more of his stuff and i liked it also dead mouse but mm. those are like the four that i remember like listening to a decent amount growing up mm. and then now the ones i listen to the most for a little while it was surfaces and i was in like point like zero something of Damn. like their spotify listeners either last year or the year before but now my top artists are probably like joji code of the friends I've been listening to oh Maddie on for sure. Sorry, <laughs> I don't even know why I didn't think of that. Maddie yeah. on and Porter Robinson. So there's a little bit of variety there. There's a little mm -hmm. bit of rap. There's a little bit of um like casual. I don't even know what Joji would be, like indie, I guess. I don't yeah. I'm not even sure. And then Sad Rap. Yeah, sad rap. <laughs> and then um what's it called? And then EDM. Yeah. But how about you? Um, so it was a lot of twenty one pilots, like be beginning. Um like freshman year about like middle school going into like freshman year and then i used to listen to a lot of black keys which i still listen to they're like uh I don't know them. they're um like alternative rock i guess or more rockish and they're still like one of my favorite bands today too i haven't really listened to a much a bunch of their songs now or i haven't really been listening to them a lot but those are the kind of two main ones and i've had like this habit of just not really listening to one artist, but kind of just like going to a playlist, like in sh pressing shuffle or having just a bunch of random like artists and stuff and or like going to a daily mix. Oh yeah. And okay. just like press shuffle and stuff and let like Spotify decide what music I'm going to listen to today, like yeah. for that day. Um, well, obviously like there's like certain means like Tyler the Creator, Mac Miller, like daily yeah. mix or whatever, like there's th different daily mixes for the day. Um, but now it's, still heavily mac mac miller i've been listening he's been my favorite artist since like senior year of high school um i've been tyler the creator has been more seeped more into what i listen to um but i've been just trying to listen to more albums too and a variety of albums um like i listened to a couple of tyler the creator albums all the way through from like song one to the end a couple all of mac miller's songs this year i believe i listened to like it through their entirety and like a few other ones that i forget i like keep blanking on the names but yeah, yeah. i got you but yeah I, i've started doing that more recently too just like listening through an album because mm. before i don't know about you but i'd go on spotify and i would just listen to like you know how it shows like their top five most popular songs yeah i would click on that and let it play like beyond that but like still like their most popular songs mm -hmm. But lately, I've been doing more like album surfing type stuff. Mm. Um, I'm searching up now because for this year, I wanted to keep track of the albums that I listened to through the entirety. Okay. I haven't added any. Oh, I used to like Logic a lot too. I used to listen to uh, Logic yeah, all the no, time. Same here, same yeah. here. I like his older albums. I do too. Um, so the albums that I listened to so far this year is... Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. Logic. Logic. Don't Forget About Me demos. I forget what that is. I've, I don't list. I didn't list the artist's names. What could possibly go wrong? If if this isn't nice, I don't know what is. Faces. Mac Miller. Blonde. Frank Ocean. Give Me Your Shoulders. Part 1. Apollo. Apollo Neo. I think that's how I do, pronounce it. Cowboy Tears slang and mansions oh that's um wait mansions is are you talking about the music group or yeah oh, okay 
That's that's Black Bear and who else? Uh, Mike Poser. Okay, Mike Poser. That's how you say it. some weird album covers. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. I remember like being in high school and being like, "What the hell is this?" Honestly, that album that they created together goes hard though. Like, yeah, it I does. it's still really good. Like, I still listen to it all the time. Yeah, I haven't listened to it in forever. Thinking um, about horses is thinking about horses. Thinking about horses is my favorite song out of that album. Out. It's just talking about horses. It's a six minute song and it's just Are you serious. It's a trip. Yeah. Is it like meant to be like funny or is it like they're serious i think it's like more on the comedic side okay of it but it's it comes off as more dramatic but it's like just i think it's just black bear talking the entire time and it's just he's going off on different different like tangents with like like crazy like sound effects and it like fits really well i have to like play it after this yeah fucking copyright copyright strike bitch fucking bitch but we need to go to more concerts we do what's the what's the like all-out concert like big concert that you want to go to so i want to go to a music festival i know governor's ball is this summer and i would love to go to all of that it's just kind of expensive but there's this other um, music festival happening in toronto because like i would have to drive down for governor's ball which I might, but I didn't even buy tickets for. Firefly fucking sucks this year. <laughs> like, I don't even want to talk about that. Like, I will like, Wait, isn't that the scam? What was the scam? Fire Island is uh, the... Wait. No. Fire Festival. Yeah, Fire, Fire Festival. Festival. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, yeah. That was a scam. I don't, like, I don't even... That was so long ago when I think about it. I keep mixing up yeah. Firefly as, Firefly, a, as yeah. a scam one. I'm like, how is that... Wait a second. Is, isn't that the scam? I always forget. No. Firefly is like... I feel like they're more like I, I thought they were more catering towards rap and like pop, but I feel like they're more alternative and just like random shit. Yeah. But the one that I want to go to is called the Veld Music Festival, which mm-hmm. is in Toronto. And it has like I really want to see Porter Robinson so fucking badly. Mm-hmm. He's there. The chain smokers are there. Um I don't know. Some other big names are there. I forget like who else, but some big like EDM names will be there. So Caleb Leonza. Yeah, Caleb Leonza will be there actually. So you should go check him out. Yeah. Go buy your tickets right now. And merch. And I and heard merch. I heard uh Peachy is gonna be there too. He might be. He might make yeah. a guest appearance. You never know. Yeah. So you might want to go check out his YouTube channel and see if he's <laughs> actually going. <laughs> what are you doing up in Toronto? Um, so I'm going up for two months for an internship. I have not been assigned my business yet just because I need to finish submitting the rest of my documents, but I'll be going up for two months, living in the big city, a little bit nervous. Um, We'll just be leaving here, won't be able to make a lot of money up there because it is like a no paid internship. And then also I can't like DoorDash or anything up there. I already tried checking that. Damn. So I may... I might make an only OnlyFans. Yeah. You never know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> go, Strugg- struggling for the money at this point. Go buy his feet pics at <laughs> P- at Peachy at OnlyFans dot com slash Peachy Kid. Hey yo, go go support uh, our main boy Brendan Peachy so he can survive out in Canada. Are you excited to go out? I'm excited. It'll be a good experience. I'm just. A little bit worried about it just not having an income for two months and yeah. then just being away from life down here mm-hmm. like it's just gonna be a whole new environment for two months and i know that's not like a crazy long time but i haven't i don't know i haven't really had to adapt like that since sophomore year of high school when i or i mean i guess college too like moving to college but then also when i moved to lancaster Mm -hmm. so it'll be a little bit different but it should be good do you kind of like that change more or is it still kind of getting used to since it's been a little bit since you like had a hard move like that it'll be like a it'll be a breath of fresh air i'm sure Mm -hmm. but i'm also worried that when i move there like the internship that i have might be booty cheeks and i'm Mm -hmm. like i really don't want that to happen you know like Mm -hmm. i don't want to go there and be like damn this really fucking sucks and not get the experience that I'm looking for, you know? Yeah. It's always good to, like, live in a place that you're not used to because you have to adapt, and it just, like, makes you grow so much more, you know? Yeah. Even if it is shit, at least you get, like, some experience out of it. <laughs> and, like, fucking putting a Toronto fucking 
internship and on your resume would be like huge yeah, yeah. that's why you should go to la yeah because i feel like it'll just give you that boost like personally but then also like professionally mm -hmm. so that's why i want to go i did originally want to go to japan but i don't know dude i didn't want to go for a whole semester you know that's a that's a long ass time yeah and then also with covid and everything i don't know how it is over there yeah everything's hella cheap there i think in japan no toronto no never mind <laughs> <laughs> what is this man talking about oh my god i like you should quote me on that because i've been to japan multiple times just gotcha. joking can you take me on a tour yeah um okay. you got the eiffel tower oh okay yeah so we're middle going, of the city we're, we're going all um, around then yeah and then you got uh um actually yeah one of the biggest cities egypt is within the middle walking of, distance yeah oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> just totally like <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait to go see the Great Wall, the Pyramids, and the Eiffel Tower in Japan this summer. It's going to be so much fun. That's this is uh, And it's super cheap. <laughs> <laughs> this is all satire. Yes, we're um, ignorant Americans, but not that ignorant. Do you want to wrap things up here? Sure. Um, closing thought. Unsubscribe from Peachy YouTube. Subscribe. Don't, don't subscribe. Get that sub count up, boys. Boys. But also, one last closing thought. What is your song of the year so far? Song of the year. Fuck. It's probably... Hold on, I have to... Oh, I've been listening to Still Woo Woozy a lot, but probably it's one of their songs. I just have to look up the name of it, but I listen to it, like, on repeat. I did so bad with names. Um, hold on. Oh. It's Get Down by Still Woozy. Get I mean, down. it wasn't released this year, but it was released in 2021. But that's like my song of the year for me <laughs> personally. What's your song of the year? Um, so I think this song has actually been in my Spotify, like top five songs for like maybe like two years in a row. But I, it's still like it's still a banger. It's Summer House by Code of the Friend. And oh it's really? Like, I just every time that song comes on, whether I'm studying, it lifts me up. If I'm working out, it lifts me up. Mm -hmm. If I'm driving, it lifts me up. It just makes me so happy. Um, but yeah, Summer House by Code of the Friend. It's really good. I don't know when it came out. Maybe like 2019, 2020. Mm -hmm. Wait, was that the song that you showed me like a few days ago? I'm not sure. I remember you showed me one of the, his songs recently maybe uh, that's like that's my favorite song of his mm -hmm. so it could be yeah. i'm not sure <laughs> <laughs> but yeah the one song that you did that you did show me i did really like i don't know what the name of, okay what the song was but yeah well i'll play it for you tonight if we hang out yeah well i'm not hanging out with you because i don't okay like never you. mind then i'm not bye playing bitch. You the fucking song bye bitch bye bitch <laughs> screw this fucking podcast <laughs>